Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. This is Rocky here with my top moments from episode 16 of The Flash. Alright, so my number 5 top moment, the pianist and the geek. So we get a glimpse of the Ramon family in this episode, as due to changes caused by Barry, Cisco now has no excuse to stay away from his brother's birthday party. Thankfully, Caitlin goes along with him for moral support, more or less. The scenes at his parents' house are great as we learn at least part of the reason Cisco works so hard at what he does. He is crazy jealous of his brother, who used to be a star pianist, and is basically the golden child in their parents' eyes. So Cisco uses that to drive himself, and let's face it, Cisco is actually he's a pretty amazing guy, right? Number four, the relationship woes of Barry. Wow. Barry really put himself through hell in this episode. Due to learning that Iris has feelings for him in the alternate timeline, he breaks it off with Linda, who is actually a pretty amazing catch, confronts Iris, and gushes these feelings and comes across as a bit of a obsessed creep. Oh, and as a bonus, he gets punched in the face by Eddie. Yep, that's right. Right in the face. And I so laughed. Barry ends up with no girlfriend, but thanks to a timely visit with Caitlin, he's able to salvage his relationships with Eddie and Iris. Time travel can be so, so rough. Number three, Cisco gets played hard. I love the scene with Barry and Cisco at the bar, and in particular when they are approached by a blonde Peyton List who wants to chat up Cisco. Grant Gustin's OMG expression as he leaves the bar was one of the funniest moments of the episode. Sadly, the knockout turns out to be Lisa Snart, sister to Captain Cold, and he needs a new gun. Not just him though, Heatwave and Lisa needs one of her own. Cisco tries to resist, but they actually kidnapped his brother. Using family as leverage sucks. On the plus side, the situation does allow for Cisco and his brother to have an emotional breakthrough that strengthens their bond. But at the cost of Cisco revealing to Snart that Barry is the Flash. Number two, Reverse Flash sets phasing to kill. Just when we thought nobody was going to get a phase fist to the chest, effects wise, this scene was awesome as it showed us a lot more of the Reverse Flash using the phase power. So I imagine we will see Barry do it pretty soon, as in the next episode, I'm guessing. Though this scene did throw me off a bit as I wondered how Wells knew the reporter was on to him. Then I remembered he's basically been stalking Wells, so more than likely Wells noticed him at some point. Either that or he somehow saw the other timeline from episode 15. Regardless, the effects were awesome, and now instead of Iris investigating Wells, we're going to see Barry start digging. Alright, my number one top moments of the episode. Captain Cold and the Flash come to terms. It is at this point in the episode that Barry has fully accepted that he screwed up a lot of things by changing the events from the previous episode. Captain Cold knows his identity and Barry makes a compromise. As long as Cold and the rogues refrain from killing and going after those Barry cares about, he will not lock him up. But if he crosses that line, Barry will take him straight to the accelerator prison. This is one of those character defining moments as our hero is basically compromising himself as a hero. This is probably something we will see repeat itself as Barry continues to evolve on the show and as a character. What I really want to know is where did Barry leave Snart? Based on his smile in response to Cold asking for a lift back, I'm guessing he's nowhere near Central City. Or at least that's kind of what I hope. Alright, so my final thoughts on the episode. The big takeaway from this episode is that screwing with time is not smart at all. Now, some of the changes were definitely good. I mean, we still have Cisco. Iris was not brought into the Wells investigation. Cisco and his bro made up. And the list could go on. So we definitely have some positive spins. It's just going to take Barry a lot of practice to get used to time travel and, you know, figure out all the inner workings of it. Once again, the Flash crew deliver a strong and entertaining episode. I'm glad they didn't try to top what happened in episode 15, and they kind of just moved the story along. I know I keep saying it, but the Flash has just delivered amazing episodes for its premiere season, and I cannot wait to see what they bring us next. And I'm not just saying that because Mark Hamill's in the next episode. 
All right, guys, so those are my thoughts on the latest episode of The Flash. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you have any questions about any of the characters or anything brought up in the episode, go ahead and put those down in the comments below as well. I'll be more than happy to go over that information with you. And if you've enjoyed the video, I'd ask you to go ahead and give me a like. And definitely subscribe to my channel, that way you can receive an alert when I post my next Flash video, as well as the other Marvel and DC shows I'm doing at this time. And if you have gone ahead and subscribed already, thank you very much. I really appreciate you coming on board, and I hope you're enjoying the videos. Alright, all that being said, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day now. Bye!